Wait, hello everyone. Here we are back for a golf class tutorial video. The brand new course. This is hole number nine. And very first look at this. So, you know, I'm going to just try to, you know, size it up a little bit, try to figure out a reasonable approach. Um, it looks like, you know, going over there to the right hand side would be ideal. Uh, but it might require, you know, a little bit of precision and, um, you know, technical skill to get over to that right fairway and, you know, with missing the bunker, especially with the limited drivers here that you can see that we're using. Um, here you can see Ian here has a Marlin ball. Just going to try to scoot it up really close to that bunker. Um, I do think this is probably the preferred way to go, but it's also very, very challenging. It's going to be even magnified even farther with a um, extra mile driver. So there you can see where he puts it out to, um, pretty much as good as you can hope for, uh, without, you know, being able to fly it to the second. But what I'm going to do is, um, you know, as I stated, I, I do think that's probably the way, but I want to take a look just to see if I can get over this other direction. We do have a tailwind here. It looks like it's going to require some sort of tailwind. Um, it's going to be close. I might, I might not even make it over, but I'm going to try it anyway. <clears throat> so let's see if I can get a little bit of this gust here and get it to hop up. Nope, not quite. So tried to get it up to... You know just creep into that fairway it looks like if you do you're definitely going to have a straight line at the hole if you can get it to that spot so i could have you know put on a titan ball for instance uh, but i also wanted to you know press the bounds a little bit just to see how uh you know close i could get and here you can kind of see what what you're going to need to do here on the second shot is kind of cheat the trees a little bit and uh, you know probably bring size spin balls something uh, to be over in this general area you know katana might be your best ball uh, usually for the par fives you'll try to you know save some of your better balls for the par fives um, to be able to give yourself a uh, you know, reasonable chance to not have to press too much. You can see that I had to go relatively full just to kind of get it up here uh, as far as I could. And, you know, now I'm going to be kind of in recovery mode uh, for the rest of this round here. So, um, you know, keep in mind that I have, you know, a very lengthy uh, rough iron on. That's what you're going to want to also do. <clears throat> let's see so far so good so far so good it looks like uh you know i can get it up here to a reasonable uh distance here for a decent pitch and you can see that i'm using the navigator i like to use that over the um, quasar ball just for that little bit of extra wind resistance with that extra wind resistance um you know i feel a little bit more secure with being able to, uh, you know, keep the wind down in all situations, which you at times will need to do uh, in order to give yourself, you know, that holdout capability. So here you can see, you know, I got myself in trouble, but I should be able to recover here. So there's two ways I can go about doing this. I can go for this dunk, which will probably be, you know, just as likely as the pitch will be. Um, I don't think that this pitch in this case is going to be too challenging. So I can probably go for it here. You can see with what I'm doing with the, uh, you know, since I don't really have to play the wind and it's very straight, I'm just going to, ah, so that great ball is going to probably cost me. I don't think it'll hold the edge. Looks like it almost did though. <laughs> so hit perfect, you know, make that shot. Uh, hit great ball, miss it. So we're not going to get to the playoff, but uh, that's okay. So um, I'm going to split these videos up here. So we have individual hole tutorials, and I'll see you guys on the next one.